Hi, it's Dwyer, April 22nd, 2021, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk about a couple of sports picks for tonight, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Two plays I like, again, it's April 22nd, 2021. In Major League Baseball, I like the Dodgers at home, laying a minus 170 with Walker Buehler on the mound over the San Diego Padres. Let me point out that the Dodgers are rested. They didn't play yesterday. They're unbeaten at home. They're 6-0. and The Padres have lost their last three games in a row. Also, on April 16th, just a few games ago, Walker Bueller was at San Diego. He pitched six innings. He only gave up two earned runs. In other words, Bueller seems to do well against the Padres. And, of course, the Padres are slumping. I like the Dodgers, minus 170, at home today. Moving to the NBA. You know, the Philadelphia 76ers, who have lost two games in a row, right? Two home games, and they're now on the road against Milwaukee. But the 76ers are first in the Eastern Conference. They are second in defensive rating in the league, right? So now they're playing Milwaukee, another elite Eastern team in Milwaukee. I believe that this game is a statement game. It's a revenge game for Philly because Philly lost in overtime by four to Milwaukee this year on March 17th, 2021. Now, incredibly, Philly, first in the Eastern Conference, is an eight-point underdog. I know they've lost two games in a row. Uh, Milwaukee lost their last game to Phoenix. By the way, just like Philly did. I understand Philly just played yesterday, so they're not rested. But in a game of this magnitude, right, you're, you're playing the Milwaukee Bucks in Milwaukee. I believe that uh, it's going to be a playoff-type atmosphere. I'll be surprised if the 76ers don't cover the eight points. I like the 76ers getting eight points on the road in Milwaukee today. That's how I see it. Dodgers minus 170, 76ers plus eight. That's how I see it. Let me hear your thoughts. I hope you leave them in the comment section of this YouTube video. Thanks for stopping by.